one. Happy, happy after the happy Thanksgiving Day. Praise God. I know each of you had a wonderful, wonderful time. Praise God. Uh, myself and Dr. Bev, we did a Zoom <laughs> the Thanksgiving with our uh, family there in Phoenix, Arizona. All of our children, the great uh, children, grandchildren, and great grandchildren. Praise God. And we got a chance to still fellowship. We got a chance to pray over the food. Praise God. And of course, you know, when uh, the evening started, you know, we didn't see people because everybody got real quiet, but it was a great <laughs> blessing, praise God. You know, just get a chance to see all the grandkids and kids and things like that and not have to do the traveling. So it was a great blessing. Dr. Bill, give them a great big welcome well, this good time. Good morning, for the Lord is good and his mercy does, does endure forever. We pray and thank God for you this morning. You know, share this with someone. Let them know that uh, Apostle and Dr. Bev is on. So we thank you for joining us. And, and I know that your Thanksgiving was a great one. Ours was just a blessing. You know, we couldn't get together and touch one another, but praise and thank God for social media that we could go on and see our families doing, that, that they're doing very well. So we praise and thank God for you once again, because you're going to have, you're going to be hearing a great word today, knowing what God can do for us and what he will do for us. We love you. God bless. And you know, last night is kind of funny because, um, uh, after we got finished eating, you know, sometimes when you've been ate such a big meal like that, you're never going to go to sleep. So I said, I, I, I said, Bill, I'm going to take me a good nap. Well, I went, I went and took a nap, and I, I, and I, and I guess I'm going to slept about a couple of hours or so no, because a little bit more than a couple, couple hours, two or three hours. But anyway, when I woke up, I thought it was Friday morning. I actually woke up, uh, came in, in the room, came in my office. Uh, you know, I uh, got my hair done, shaved. Uh, shaved uh, <laughs> you know, I got the got the today's message together, and I told and I looked at Bell. Bell was still in the bed. I said, Bell, why are you still in the bed? She said, she said, what do you mean still in the bed? I said, I, I said, it's Friday. Most said, no, it's not. This is a Thursday. I said, no, this is not Thursday. This is look Friday. Look at your phone. Look at your phone. <laughs> I, I said, look at your phone, and now sudden, you know what? She was right. Thank it, you, Lord. It was Thank literally, Lord. it was literally still <laughs> Thursday, and I'm thinking it was Friday. So it was amazing, and uh, you know, so I guess. I must have slept, I guess that four hours or three hours, what it was, was enough for a whole eight hours sleep, praise God. So, but that was funny. That was real funny, praise God. You know, uh, and to see that sometimes you can sleep and literally thank you in the next day. So, but it was a great blessing overall. Thank God for the family. Dr. Bev went, she went off the hook, praise God, with her food. Man, did everything good. Uh, it's just like we had a big, a big old meal here, uh, but it was just us two. But man, everything was t nice and tasty. Didn't have to go nowhere to get nothing else. Praise God! It was a great blessing. So we enjoyed ourselves, and we know that you and your family also had a great uh, time of Thanksgiving. Dion, God bless you. Where and when? Wyoming. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Dion. Praise God! As each of you come on today. We just appreciate you and thank God for you. Well, it's past Thanksgiving now. We're headed toward Christmas, and we're headed toward the new year. The new year. And uh, 2021, praise God, Amen. <laughs> Amen. And uh, and and you know, God's got great things in store for us. You know, you know. I, I think every time myself and I have to we we've, we've done things in in you know, ministry or in business. We've always went to do things big. Amen. You know what I mean? Because you know, because I think because we was around big people. Right. If you're around small people, you're gonna think small. That's right. If you're around big people, you're gonna think big. Mm -hmm. And so we're saying uh, beginning this year. You know, uh, let's. I, I want you to begin to build a mental uh, a map of bigger Amen. in your mind. Mm -hmm. You know, whether it's in the in the spiritual realm, build bigger mm -hmm. this year. If it's in the physical realm, build bigger this year. Yes. Not not weight wise, but health wise. Uh, if it's uh, if it's in the financial realm, build bigger. Amen. The whole goal is God is saying, you know, we, it's time for us to build bigger. Not, not, not retreat and begin to start saying, you know, well, we've been in this coronavirus for the last, for the last eight months. Let's see what we can make cuts at. No, don't, don't look and say make cuts. That's right. It takes just as much strength for you to, to, to think positive mm -hmm. and think increase. That's right. And think bigger with the same, with just using the different thoughts mm -hmm. than to think how we're going to cut. Amen. So you want to begin to think, you know what, you know, God is a God of increase. He's not a God of decrease. Yes. God is not a God of cutbacks. God is a God of increase. Praise God. Amen. And so Amen. we want to begin to look at that today and to talk about that, mm -hmm. building bigger in 2021. Amen. Okay. And the first thing you do, Dr. Bev, if we're, if we're going to go to mm -hmm. a state that we've never been before, mm -hmm. for, for instance, we've never been to Wyoming. Right. But well, one thing we would need is a roadmap. That's right. You know, on, how to get there. On how to get there. Mm -hmm. Because anytime you're traveling on uncharted territory, mm -hmm. 
that you've never really, you know, been on in your sin. Bible said your eyes have not seen, mm -hmm. your ears have not heard. It's not to your heart what God's got prepared for you. You need a roadmap. That's right. So the first thing you have to do is you got to build a bigger roadmap. Because, mm -hmm. you know, maps, if you look at a map, a map can show you your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine in my neighborhood. The same map can show you your state, your city. That's right. The same mm -hmm. map can show you your state. Mm -hmm. Or a map can show you your whole nation. Mm -hmm. It can show you every country in, in the United States or whatever country you're from. Right. Or a map can show you, it's called a world map. That's right. See, so depending on what kind of how you map your future, hmm. you, you can have a neighborhood future or you can have a world future. Yes. And I think Jesus said go into all the world. world. That's right. You, are you following me? The Bible says this government should be preaching all the world for, for my sake. So we got we to gotta get a bigger map of our future. That's good. And, and the map needs to be built upon what the word of God says. Mm -hmm. so, so Dr. Bill, a, a mental map, what is a mental map? A mental map is a symbolic representation of your future destiny and destination. Mm -hmm. It represents information in a simple, visual way. A map can represent your neighborhood, city, state, nation, or the whole earth. Amen. That's so what you just said. that's it. Mm -hmm. So it is, it is a symbolic representation. That's right. Of your future destiny and destination. And you got to build that in your mind, mm -hmm. you know, in those areas. Mm -hmm. And, and, and in, because you need something visual. That's right. The Bible said without a vision, the people perish. You're right. So you've got to develop mm -hmm. a visual mental map of your future, and it needs to be bigger than yes. what you've been through. Yes. Got that? That's right. Because the whole point is, in letter B, Dr. Bells. If you don't know where you're going, <laughs> you will not know when you get there. That's right. You'll just yeah. be there. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I, and, and I know I never forget, this is back in the 1960s, there was a, the, there was a, the, the we, my mother, a uh, sister, lived in Los Angeles, California. You know, like in nineteen sixty-two, something like that. It might have been a little later than that. But even my mother's sister lived in California, Los Angeles, California, and we wanted to go there for our vacation. So our uncle that came down and, and drove us to Los Angeles. None of us, <laughs> we were from the country. <laughs> you follow me? We were right there from the country there, and we, none of us knew about LA. So my my uncle came out and drove us to LA, and so then my father. After, you know, uh, because of the, during that time, that's when the Watts riot broke out. This has been like in the six, the Watts riot. And then and you would see them people, the people with the guns and at night they would start rioting and gunshots and all that. So my mother told us, look, dad, you need to come get us. He told my dad, come get us. Mm -hmm. So my father came up there to come get us. But again, uh, my father, my father, this is the first time. You know, I think he must have wrote the bus or something to come get us. And but anyway, so we get on. So my uncle tells us, OK, now, because at that time, L.A. Got, had a lot of uh, freeways even then. So my uncle, you know, he said, All right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get you on the right road and I'm going to direct y'all. I'm going to just keep going from that point on. But, you know, I, so my uncle did that. So my father driving, we, we trailed my uncle. And so then once we began to go on the freeway, mm -hmm. uh, uh, my uncle, he, he got off and kept going. But apparently sometimes the freeways in L.A., if you're not careful, the other freeways come and you think it's the same freeway, it'd be a whole different freeway. Are you following me? And if you don't know the name of those streets and the name of those other freeways, right. you think you're on the same freeway. That's right. So my dad, you know, we traveled and as kids, you know, we didn't know the difference. We just driving because all of us in the same car, we was in a station wagon. And so we had traveled all night long. Mm -hmm. And that in that time we looking, okay, it's time for us to to really, you know, to be here in Arizona by now. And we looked and said that everything looks so unfamiliar. Where where are we at? And all of a sudden, we saw a sign saying 25 miles to San Francisco. Uh -huh. <laughs> so even though my uncle had you know, <laughs> putting us on the right road, <clears throat> yeah. because my father did not know how to read those maps, and because my father did not read those freeways, we ended up on the wrong road. Yes. We was on a road, but the wrong road that was not leading us to our destination. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we were not fulfilled. So we got, when we finally called somebody, we found they, they, they called a, a missing purpose, a missing pre, a person's report on us. Are you following me? Because we got on the wrong road. So we got to yes. build a clear mental map. Are you following me? It needs to be simple in a visual way where anybody can, that's what Jesus, I think the Bible says in the book of, in the book of Habakkuk, uh, get a vision and then it says, make it plain that those that run can read it and run with it. Amen. And that's what needs to happen in, 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 in order for you to build bigger. You've got to build a bigger mental map, but it's got to be one you can understand 
and one you can communicate to anyone, whether it's your husband and your wife, we need to understand yes, where we're we headed. Right? And it needs to be simple to both of us. So that my wife is not headed to San Francisco mm-hmm. and I'm headed to Phoenix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you follow me mm-hmm. in those areas. Mm-hmm. Praise God. Okay, um, Tanny said we keep cutting in and out. I apologize. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure what's causing that there, but it's probably the internet, uh, Tanny. But thank you very for, for much for letting us know that, okay? Thank you so much for that. Amen. And we'll hope we'll just believe God now for it's going it's to clear up in down. Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. But so so if me and my wife is both on a road, but but she's thinking San Francisco, I'm thinking Phoenix. We're, we, we're on a map. Each of those roads on a map, but we're looking at the wrong destination. Yes. See, so we got to build bigger and we got to see the destination that we're both going into. Mm-hmm. Are you following me? Mm-hmm. And it needs to be plain that both of us are running with it. So, so, so right now, begin as you think about uh, 2021, you and, and your spouse or your, your, whoever is a part of your inner circle, mm-hmm. you need to be in agreement mm-hmm. on, 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 on this mental map that each of you are going yes. to. Yes. Got that? So it's very important. Are you believing God for your neighborhood? Mm. Are you believing God for your city? Your state, your nation, the world? Because how big you can see it and, and, and whatever kind of map you're using, you're setting that as your destination this year. Right. You got that? Amen. Because that's what my wife said. If you don't know where you're going, you're not going to know when you get there. Amen. So how are you going to know December the 31st, 2021, mm-hmm. if you've reached your destination or not. Only if you have mapped it out ahead of time. That's right. And when you're mapping it out, you map out understanding obstacles are going to come. Understanding uh, uh, obstacles, uh, what are setbacks, the setbacks mm-hmm. and hindrances. Mm-hmm. Those are things that are going to be a part of your, 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 your map that you're setting. Understand the and so you can prepare for those things. You can allot for those things, knowing that no matter what you go through this next year, yes. you're gonna be more than a conqueror. Amen. I mean, what you're going through this year, uh, uh, you, God always mm-hmm. calls you to triumph. That's right. Amen. Always. Amen. God always calls you to triumph mm-hmm. in Christ Jesus. And the greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. So you gotta set your roadmap with that type Same. of mindset. Okay. Amen. Very important. Amen. Okay. Number two is what, Doctor Bell? Build a bigger Mental map by faith. You got to build it by faith. That's right. In other words, because where you're going, you know, uh, you've probably never been there before because the Bible says your eyes have not seen, yes. your ears have not heard the things that God's got prepared for you. Mm-hmm. So you got to build it by faith. You got to say, okay, God, this, this thing is bigger than, than I've seen before. Mm-hmm. And so that's why in, in the book of Hebrews, Dr. Bell, yes. chapter number 11, and verse number one, what does that say? Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, mm-hmm. the evidence of things not seen. Mm. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. It is the evidence of things not seen. So you, so any effective mm-hmm. mental map must be built with your faith. Yes. So you can't start off saying, well, you know what, let me, let me count and see if I got enough money for this. No, mm-hmm. no, no. Because God, you're gonna have to, God's going to give you the money equal to mm-hmm. the map that you set. Yes. So if you try to count your money, you're going to probably set a lower map. That's right. But if you use it, with, but if you, if you begin to, to build your map with your faith mm-hmm. and say, okay, God, if this is you, but, but I believe this is you, then, I'm, then this is the faith map I'm building. Mm-hmm. I'm building a, a, a faith map yes. based on what I believe God wants me to accomplish this year, spiritually, mm-hmm. physically, mm-hmm. and financially. I got that. So, in, uh, and we said uh, that faith is the substance of things what hope for, the evidence of things not, not saying. Mm-hmm. So, faith is now. Right. Faith is now, mm-hmm. but it has the ability to create your future. That's right. Is that right? Amen. So, so your so your faith can build your future, mm-hmm. but your faith is going to build your future according to Ephesians three twenty. That's right. Unto him that is able to do exceeding yeah. abundantly and above. What you can ask to think right. according to the power working right. in you. That's right. So, so I, I want to encourage you today. Mm-hmm. Build your build your future with your faith, mm-hmm. and build your future based upon Ephesians three twenty. That is not limited to your resources, mm-hmm. but it's limited to your source. Mm-hmm. It, and you're following in those areas, and so you want to build it with your faith. In verse number three, Doctor Bell, what is verse number three? Hebrews through, eleven and three. Through faith, 
-hmm. we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God mm -hmm. so that things which are seen were not made by things which do appear. Amen. All right, praise God. Now, I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I said, Dion just said, you're losing me. Amen. Praise God. It's a Black Friday in there this year. That's right. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. We believe in God that all the the the, app, the the things that's going on right now, we believe that all this is counseling in Jesus' name. Amen. That, that, that the internet is back on in the name of Jesus Christ personally. Amen. So I'm praising God for you and, and thank you. Thank me also. Thank you, Dion, for letting us know that too. And Amen. we just believe God that that this is this is Jesus Friday in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This is Victory Friday. Amen. Glory to God. Yes, because the word of God is going to get through, even through Black Black Friday. Because we, because I think <laughs> what it is, is a lot of people online and they're shopping. So, yeah. all over the world. So, but we rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise <laughs> God. Internet, clear up in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, look what it says in verse number three again. It said this, what Dr. Bever said. Through that, faith, mm -hmm. we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, mm -hmm. so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Isn't that blessed? Yes. So that things which are seen mm -hmm. were not made by things which do appear. So the yes. things that you, that, 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 you, you, that you believe in God for this year, bigger things. All right. Are not going to be made by things that do appear. Mm -hmm. So don't look at your wallet. Wallet. That's what appears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that the things which are seen. This is Hebrews eleven three. Mm -hmm. Through faith we understand the worlds were framed by the word of God. Yes. So the things which are seen mm -hmm. were not made by things that do appear. So the thing that you're going to see this year right. is not going to be made by what's appearing right now in your wallet. That's right. It's going to be made with your faith. Mm -hmm. Is that right? And we said that faith is a substance of things. Hope for it is the evidence of things not seen. Yes. So, as long as it's in the seen, unseen realm, mm -hmm. it's called faith. Right. But once it gets in the seen realm, it's mm -hmm. called manifestation. Yeah. So what you're doing is you got to you have to build it in the unseen realm. Yeah. Because it just said the things that are made are not made by things that are seen. Mm -hmm. They're made by things that are not seen, and that's the spiritual realm yes. with your faith. So you got to build your future as you look into 2000, uh, 2021, you got to build your future with a mindset of faith. That's right. You got that? That, that? that I am who God says I am. I have what God says I have, mm -hmm. and I can do what God says I can do. Is that Amen. right, Dr. Bell? That's right. Amen. Don't let anybody hold you back in Jesus' name mm -hmm. and try to tell you, what you cannot do. That's right. Amen. That's Praise exactly. God. Is that right? Because when God touches you, what you thought could never happen will happen. Yes, it will. And we can see that in Sarah, Dr. Bell, in Sarah, <laughs> in, in verse number 11 down there with Sarah. Through faith, mm -hmm. also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed and was delivered of a child when she was past age because she judged him faithful who had promised it. See, so even though Sarah was past age, Way past age. Way past age. <laughs> Amen. But it says that she still delivered a child. That's right. So your age can't stop you from delivering. Thank you, Jesus. What you, what you believe God for in faith. Mm. Your circumstances, are your family, cannot hinder or stop what you're, what, you're, what you're releasing and what you're building with your faith. That's good. You got that? And that's so important to understand that it's, mm. it says through faith. Mm. Building, building her future with her faith. Yes. Because at first, when God first spoke to the life, they tried to build it with their, in the natural realm. Right. And in the with Ishmael. Exactly. But when they build it with their faith, <laughs> based on the promise of God, she receives strength. See, yes, what God going to give you this year is strength. That's right. Supernatural ability. That's right. To conceive the dream that he's put in your heart. Right. And you're going to be, you're going to release your faith for it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to release my faith for bigger. Yes. And better, mm -hmm. we're going for God's best mm -hmm. in 2021. Yes. And it says she was delivered of a child. My God, I'm declaring that you're going you're going to deliver this child. Amen. Oh God. God. You're going to deliver that house. Mm -hmm. You're going to deliver that home. You're going to deliver that 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 car. You're going to deliver that ministry. You're going to deliver that husband you've been believing God for. That's you're right. going to believe God for that wife you're going to be believing right. believing God for. You're going you're going to deliver that ministry. You're going to deliver that business. Why? Even though it says it's past age. Right. Even though it looks like in the natural realm, mm -hmm. how this thing going to still happen for me? That's right. Maybe you failed. 
Maybe you sinned. Maybe you missed God. Mm -hmm. But as long as you get back on the right track, yes. my God. You ever seen on, uh, on, on, the, on, the, on, um, on the car, they got this button called the resume button? Yes. And many times we could be going down the freeway and maybe something maybe called it a stop. Mm -hmm. And the pattern, but the thing about it is the pattern is already set. It's so set. all you got to do is press the resume button. Once you press the resume that, uh, button, it'll take you to that speed that you're already at. And well, you're already at. That's right, see. Uh -huh. And so that's how faith works. That's how faith works. <laughs> the moment you get back in faith, yeah. God hits the resume there button. There it is. <laughs> and you'll get right back and as though there was no lost time. That's right. And that's what you need to recognize about your faith. Mm -hmm. And then Pharisees pass age. Yes. How am I going to still deliver this thing mm -hmm. with, with all the natural circumstances? My God. Are you following mm -hmm. That I have to consider and try to make this thing happen. Yes, yes. But the Bible said Abraham no longer considered his own body that was dead. Right. You got to stop considering all the natural circumstances mm -hmm. that you see on how you can make that happen. Mm -hmm. If you do, you will end up with an Ishmael. Yes, <laughs> Are you following? Yes. But if you trust God and believe God through your faith, mm -hmm. it says through faith yeah. she conceived it. <laughs> through the promise of God. And it said because she judged God faithful Amen. who had promised. And that's what I want you to do in this year of 2021. I want you to begin to judge God faithful. That's right. That he's faithful to deliver this year. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. What he's promised you in your life. Mm -hmm. The husband, the wife, the ministry, the business, the, 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 the bigger finances coming in. Yes, yes. Family coming together. You Right now, you start believing God and start judging God faithful. Mm -hmm. That if he promised it, he'll do it. Amen. If he said it. He's going to bring it to pass That's in right. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So stop building it up now. That's so right. number three, Dr. Bell, is do what? Build a bigger dream. Build a bigger dream. Mm -hmm. Build a bigger dream. Yes. Amen. Uh, uh, Matthew chapter number 19 and verse 26, Dr. Bell. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, mm -hmm. With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Mm. <laughs> so, so he's saying there that now when you look at this thing that you just believe in God for, mm -hmm. when you look at the bigger that's that's that God is speaking to your heart on, right, right, right. he said with men it's impossible. Mm. When you look at your own state of finances, it looks like it's impossible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when God first told myself and Dr. Bev that we were going to start a ministry school. Are you following? And we're going to equip men and women as apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers, ministry of health, mm -hmm. and through them church be established around the world. Mm -hmm. But with, uh, with us, that was impossible because we were we were behind on rent, mm -hmm. living in, a, in, a, in an apartment. Mm -hmm. Are you following? You know, struggling in, in, in every area of our lives. Mm -hmm. But yet God said mm -hmm. that you're going to do this. Mm -hmm. With men, it was impossible because I never, we never started no school before. That's right. Nope. You know, I, 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 I never been to college before in my life. You know, I, I I just grabbed him high school. I went to hair, I became a hairdresser. Went to went to beauty, uh, the barber school, and then went to ministry school. Mm -hmm. But ever starting a school, never done in my life. That's right. But but God equips you. Yes. With the call for the call that's on your life, yes, He, he qualifies you with the anointing and the spiritual, uh, 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 the spiritual capability, mm -hmm. the physical strength. Mm -hmm. And the financial mm -hmm. wealth mm -hmm. to make it happen, mm -hmm. but you got but you got to build your dream yes. as big as God said. That's right. When God put that in our heart, we had never been out of we had never been out, out of the country at that time. True. You know what I mean? And so, but we but we started. We got our we got our, our passport. That's right. We started. We we got started. <laughs> we got our passport. We got our visa together. Yes. And are you from so so we cause we're building this dream. Yes. And and, and in the natural realm, it looks what, like what, Dr. Bell? Impossible. impossible. Are you following me? Mm -hmm. But we built it based on what the word of God said. That's right. And that's what I'm saying. Many people are building go they're setting goals for 2013, 2021, mm -hmm. 2021, mm -hmm. but they're not building it based upon a dream God gave them. That's right. The, and then not only that, you said you, they're, they're doing it based on a goal. Yeah, goals are good, but what about what about building your faith? Faith is just as good as a goal. So if you just go ahead and set your faith instead of get, get it out your mind, well, well, the world said we got to do it this way, we got to do it that way. Not necessarily, we must do it God's way because right. God knows what he's doing. And if he told you, and if he put that in your heart, he said that you'll make sure that you'll walk it out. That's good, Dr. Bell. <laughs> a faith goal is always attainable. Yes. But a yes. goal without faith, as yes. Dr. Bell said, it, it don't do no good. No. 
Because you're trying to, you said, this is what I'm going to do. Exactly. But if you get your faith built first, right. based upon the word of God, like Dr. Bell said, now you can set that goal, but the, it, is an, it, is a, yes. it is a faith inspired goal. Yes, yes. It's a faith inspired goal. That now my faith has inspired this goal mm -hmm. that, it, that Abraham, 99 years old, mm -hmm. we can still have a baby. That's it. Sarah, 90. Because it's faith inspired. That's right. Now we can set that goal and God's going to bring it to pass. That's right. But just setting a goal. That's right. That's why, Dr. Bell, many people, they, 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 they knew your resolutions only last throughout January. Oh, my God. Because they set all these goals, but it was right. not faith inspired. There it is. And so as soon as the devil hit them, well, I know, you know, I said this, we're going to do this. But, you know, uh, things happen mm -hmm. and people left me. Let me tell you something. People, things happening and people left you was not, it was, was not new to God. Amen. When Jesus said, let's go to the other side, he already knew a storm was going to come. That's right. But he said, we're going to the other side. Mm -hmm. so, so no matter when you go to the other side, no matter who leaves you. Thank you. No matter what circumstances appear, mm -hmm. if God said we're going to the other side, mm -hmm. you map your yes. way to the other side. Yes, you do. Yes, that's what a GPS does, Dr. Bell. Yes, it does. If, if we're going to L.A., we, we, don't, we, don't, we don't set that for Blythe. Mm -mm. Even though we go through life, sure. we don't set it for India. Mm -hmm. We may go through India, but we set that GPS and we put the address right. of the destination we're going to. That's right. And 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 that GPS will guide us through yes. India. Mm -hmm. It'll guide us through. Are you following? We can even stop at the at the chicken place in in um, Blythe. <laughs> but but it but it won't stop. It won't stop. We'll, as soon as we stop on the other road, that's right. We'll get, it'll get, as long as we don't turn that thing off, it's gonna get us right back on the road going to LA because the that's destination right. yes. was fifteen hundred West uh, 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 Vermont Avenue, yeah. Los Angeles, California, mm -hmm. because that's what we set. That's right. That's the destination that we set. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that we can fulfill our destiny. Yes. So we got to we got to set it based upon the end result. Yes. And the end result will take you through life. Yes, it will. It'll take you, and even if you if you if you get on the wrong track, end up in Riverside. That's right. It'll it'll still take you to the your, your ultimate destination. That's right. And that's why you got to set it now. That's right. Is that right, Doctor Bell? Mm -hmm. So uh, so uh, we uh, we're building bigger. Mm -hmm. What you dream will come to pass. This is now. But if you if all you remember is what someone else dreamed. Mm -mm. You will keep living in the past, oh and the past never sees the future. That's right. It never will. That's right. So, so, so don't build it based upon, well, you know, I know someone else did this, and I can do it. No, no. God may want you to build bigger than that. That's right. I, I'm going to say it again. Don't just measure your dream by what someone else has done. <laughs> Use what someone else has done as inspiration, but not as your destination. Mm -hmm. Is that good, Dr. That's, That's good, good, huh? That's good. Yeah. Use what someone else did <laughs> as inspiration. But not your destination. That's good. Inspiration. But, it's just inspiration. I can be inspired by that. Right, right, but but right. that is not because I believe that God's gonna make me I'm not gonna be in comparison. I'm not gonna compare myself with them. That's right. I'm not gonna be in competition with them. Yes, that's good. But I can use what they have accomplished as inspiration, yes. but never my destination. Because otherwise I'll keep living in the past. Mm -hmm. And the past can never see no. the future. <laughs> so, but you got to see your future. That's right. You got to see bigger. Yes. Your future before you can have it. Amen. If your memory of your past mm. is bigger than your dream, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that today? Amen. You're in trouble. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's time now to build your dream today. But we're going to talk about building bigger. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So you know, Dr. Bell, even the first church we bought. Mm -hmm. Back in 19, what was that? Probably 1978, something like in the area. Yeah. Uh, we were in this small building. Mm -hmm. It held about, I think it held about 25 people. Praise God. <laughs> held about 25 people. And an opportunity came for us to have a bigger, a, build, a bigger building. That's right. And this bigger church. But because, so I called our bishop and I said, what do you think about this? Well, you know, he said, you know, you shouldn't do it because you have got a few people and you get into that larger building, it's probably going to be, uh, it's going to swallow y'all up. Yes. Don't like you ain't got nobody in there. So, you know, I was going to listen to him until God sent me another individual. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 this is Bishop Flukers. We call him Bishop Flukers. He was a great wisdom, man of wisdom. They said, no, you can get that building. You know, so, so one bishop said, 
You shouldn't do it because you, know, you ain't got enough members. Another bitch said you can make it happen. And it's amazing that once you decide to build bigger, yes. fresh wisdom will come. Yes, it will. New relationship will come. <laughs> Are you following? Insight will come. And 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 that as Dr. Bell said, that goal now is is inspired yes. with your faith. That's right. We set that thing, and you know what? Praise God! After about two three months, you know we had we had the total amount of money that was needed. We had to do some negotiation in there, mm-hmm. but God blessed our negotiations. Amen. Amen. Praise God! And we got that place yes, because we, we we decided to build bigger. Amen. So sometimes when you build bigger, it looks like, God, why are you having me to do this and do that? God said, because I want you to build bigger because what I got for your life. Mm. <laughs> uh, because what I got for your life is bigger than what you can handle right Most now. Definitely. Well, see, we were in that little, the little building that only had 50 people. Mm-hmm. But God, but that next building was, was covered, what happened to, was go, we had like, it could cover 200 people right. with eight rooms downstairs. Mm-hmm. And the natural, I mean, it wouldn't make no sense for us. To try to go for that bigger building Amen. with no matter members that we had. That's right. But God inspired us to release our faith yes. for a bigger building. Amen. And we and, and, and God through us accomplished it, but he used the wisdom yes. of someone that he put into our lives. New I'm declaring new relationships in your life that's this right. year. Someone that you're listening to that's inspiring you that you can that's go bigger. Right. Amen. And that you're born. To go bigger. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So, mm-hmm. so, so next thing you can do, I say this, mm-hmm. is you can build bigger through mentorship. That's good. And that's how we build. Mm-hmm. It's through putting our, it's exposing ourselves to new people. That's right. That mentored us. Like I said, the first gentleman, like I said, God said him, he came, God had me, he, he came all the way from, uh, I think it was Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland. Him and his beautiful wife. Mm-hmm. And, and mentored me and Dr. Bell. That's right. For bigger. Amen. For bigger. <laughs> I never forget my about my first pastor. He came to preach a sermon one time. He says, "More to come." Yes. And man, that thing, that thing from God, it just really inspired me to understand that where I was at, mm-hmm. no matter how good it had looked, that's right. There was still more to come. Amen. Bigger was still in my future. That's right. And can I say this about you too? Bigger is still in your future. That's right. But you may be in a situation right now because of this COVID thing. And because of layoffs, and because of whatever has happened in your life, mm-hmm. that think that you, how can I go bigger? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, getting under the right person That's right. can make a difference in your life. Yes, it is. And let's notice, we can see this in the life of David. Okay. David became a mighty mentor for some people. And let's look in the book of Samuel, chapter 22. 1 Samuel 22 and verse 1. Yeah, 1 Samuel 22 and verse number 1. Yes. David therefore departed thence and escaped to the cave Adullam. Mm-hmm. And when his brethren and all his fa- father's house heard it, mm-hmm. they went down thither to him. Mm-hmm. And everyone that was in distress and everyone that was in debt and everyone that was discontented mm-hmm. gathered themselves unto to him. He became gathered themselves unto them and he became captain captain over them. And there were with him about 400 men. So can you see that today? Mm. So what we're saying is that they were in debt. Yes. <laughs> they just came out of a, a year of COVID. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you fine? They just came out of, you know, mass um, uh, uh, financial difficulties. Yes. You know, uh, uh-huh. jo- loss of jobs, <laughs> loss of lives, uh-huh. loss of homes, loss right. of cars. But, but it says that this wants you to see it, no matter That's what good. your past has been, no matter what your past has been over this last year, mm-hmm. mm. God is saying today, Build bigger. That's right. Build bigger. Don't look at the past. That's right. Because it says here in verse number two, it says, and everyone. My God was in. Okay, distress. that's right. It says, and everyone. First, this, uh, first Samuel chapter 20, verse one. And everyone that was in debt, <laughs> everyone that was in distress, mm-hmm. everyone that was discontented, mm-hmm. they gathered themselves to David, uh, their, their new mentor. The mentor. Right. There mm-hmm. you go. And he became a captain over there. There it is. And they're with him about 400 men. So you can see that that God would bring you into the company mm-hmm. of great mentors. That's right. To bring you into bigger things in your future. Mm-hmm. No matter no matter if they was if they was in debt. Oh yeah. They were distressed or everything just happened. <laughs> But they gathered themselves to David. They so what I'm saying today is that you need to see that God raises up men and women of God. Yes, he does. Apostles, prophets, evangelists, mm-hmm. pastors, and teachers. Mm-hmm. 
but their but but their assignment is to perfect the saints. That's right. For the work of the ministry. Mm -hmm. And so, but and so what he's saying here is they came to David in this cave, mm -hmm. glory to God, and they gathered themselves to him. They were in distress. Oh my God, that's tough. Is that Dr. Bell? Mm -hmm. It's same thing that's going on right today. Same thing going on right now. All right. But people don't know where to run to or who to go to. Mm -hmm. But God, just like you said, God has set men and women of God in the body so that you can gather yourselves unto them and yes. listen to what they're saying. Just like that mentorship. Mentorship is so very important because that's what a lot of people, a lot of people out there, they just, you know, just, just out there. But no, if God has given you somebody, you need to stay with that person because that person is going to tell you how to get to your destination. And that's right. And, and seeing, so, you know, we had mentors over our lives. Like oh, I said, yes. when we, that, that first church we had there in Coos, Arizona, mm -hmm. we was in a church that only had 50 people. Mm -hmm. But, uh, but he, the, we got, the first mentor said we can't do it. God gave us the other pastor, this other right. bishop there to say we can do it. Mm -hmm. And that other bishop mentored me in yes, he did. To, to, uh, uh, to how I can get a bigger building. Yes. And then, of course, you know what I mean, as we went to uh, uh, Kenneth Hager's ministry, mm -hmm. we were able to be mentored by those people there at Kenneth Hager's ministry. Yeah. So something bigger. That's right. That, that I had only seen a church with 100, 200 people, but I went there and we saw thousands. We saw multiplied million dollar ministries. Mm -hmm. And then from there, Dr. the Lord let us go to the center of Dr. Price. And through there, mm -hmm. we got mentored by Apostle Frederick K.C. Price, along with his ministry staff, yeah. that God gave us favor to be, up, be under their wings, that, mm -hmm. that mentored us yeah. and showed us that, that, that you could have a 10,000 seat uh, a building mm -hmm. uh, uh, paid for on, on the day of dedication right. if you use your faith. If you and, and, and it showed us, Dr. Price, we were all, myself and Dr. Bell, we were, we were, we were like in debt at that time. We were distressed. Mm -hmm. we, were ride, we were riding the RTD bus to school every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for, you know, uh, from the hotel, and so, but we were passed by Dr. Price's uh, Rolls Royce. Are uh, you following me? And 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 I always look at that. I see a white Rolls Royce, that red interior. I was, uh, but I'm building. I'm seeing a future, That's a right. bigger future. We're we're going to school right now. We're riding this RTD bus mm -hmm. every day now. But you know what? But God is building a new future yes, in our life amen. through mentorship. That's and then right. Dr. Price is now teaching us on faith. That that with your faith, you can make it happen. Mm -hmm. Then the other minister that were part of our ministry school was mentoring us also on cov the blood yes. covenant. Yes. And and that that whatever God said can happen. Are you following me? Right. And then, of course, once we got out of school, we got we 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 met our good friend and our mentor, praise God, uh, 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 Apostle uh, uh, Ivy, Ivy Hilliard, mm -hmm. who really, man, God used him to mentor us. Mm -hmm. Are you following me? I mean, I had a home at that time. My house was like I think like forty five hundred square feet. Well, we had a seven thousand square feet home, and uh, and uh, and uh, and so I was talking to the prince, Doctor Hilliard, about that. But then when I went and saw his house, <laughs> his house made me I, I, I map, put a new map together because his home was 33,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And he had like uh, what, about five other cottages, each one of them was 2,500 square feet yes, yes. around it. Yes. Are you following me? <laughs> and then we, and so I'm thinking that, you know, so I'm like, oh my God. But, but, but that, that, was, that was faith inspired. That's right. He would bring us up there and we spent like a week at a time with him and his wife. We would spend time lunch, dinner, uh, uh, breakfast with them, and then mentor us. And we would fly in his helicopter to Bible study. <laughs> you follow me? But we're being mentored by someone that's called us to think bigger. That's right. Faith inspired. That faith, faith inspired. Yes, yes. And then we would go. We, we, we would travel to Nigeria at our ministry there in Nigeria Nothing with our else. MTI over there. Mm -hmm. Then now we see and and, and, and the people that we're mentoring there a lot uh, and. and, and that we met in there in Nigeria, we, uh, we, our first graduation was 2,500, about 20, yes. over 20, almost 2,500 students there in, in Nigeria. And, and then, and we would mentor them in a building that said 30,000 uh, 30, 30, people. Amen. So, so again, God is mentoring us for bigger mm -hmm. by, by exposing us to things bigger than, you know, that, that we thought in our minds. Right. Of finances, multiplied millions of finances, and so that's that's why Dr. Bell and I we have a big mindset mm -hmm. because of mentors that have God has put in our lives, right? And and, and that allow us to get close to them. Yes. See, you can be in your own house, mm -hmm. uh, your family, and just be around you, your forward no more, and 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 be thinking. But when you can expose the people that make your big that make your bigness mm -hmm. look small, not on purpose. But it's something mm -hmm. to inspire you to, to think yeah. bigger, to build better, yeah. bigger, to dream bigger, yeah. to, to grow your faith bigger. And, 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 and God will produce in your life yes, and will. greater That's right. than anything that you see 
through your mentors. That's right. But use them to inspire you right. for inspiration, but don't use them <laughs> as your destination. Amen. Because what God's got for you in your lane is bigger and better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Glory to God in Jesus' mighty name. My, my, my. Glory to God. You believe that? <laughs> yes. Amen. So, so we believe God with you on that. Mm -hmm. And uh, 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 thank God I, I saw that uh, Darlene uh, uh, and, and, and Art uh, uh, Tyler is with us today. Praise <laughs> God bless you all. Good seeing you all. Our good friends here in Las Vegas. With some of the first ones we met, we came to Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. Amen. Yeah. But we had a good friendship since then. We're looking forward to having lunch with them again. Praise God. Montoya, I see you there. Yes. Tanya, uh, thank God for you. Praise God. You said my world. My problem is the world is trying to pull my family apart. I know God will be there. That's right. Don't you let the, the, the devil do that. That's right. You, 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 you keep saying, no, my family will be bigger and better this year. Praise That's God. That's right. And then not only that, uh, uh, Tanya, all you got to do is set the pattern. Yes. Don't follow them. Let them follow you. You set the pattern on what you want for your family and the way God wants you to do it. And guess what? They're going to see God prospering you. They're going to come on over. So don't even worry about it. <laughs> Greater is he who is in you Amen. than he that is in the world. Oh, Amen. Amen. And you know, that's what the devil does. <laughs> That when, when God began to inspire you to go bigger, He's gonna attack. That's right. Jesus said that a prophet is not without honor in our own country. That's so sometimes right. you you will have that uh, you will have that opposition sometimes yes. from your family. That's right. Uh, but the whole thing is this: mm -hmm. you let God continue to inspire you for better That's based right. upon your faith. That's right. And I guarantee you, they will see, like Dr. Bell said, mm -hmm. God's bigger. In your life. That's right. And, and, and they'll begin to recognize that no matter what has happened here. That's right. Amen. In Jesus name. Well, right. we need to follow. You know, my, let yes. me say this. I got an example of that. My father, mm -hmm. uh, who is now going to be with the Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was someone that mm -hmm. uh, we were all raised in, 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 in a church mm -hmm. that was very limited. Mm -hmm. Are uh, you following me uh, in his thinking? Mm -hmm. And so I mean, we were all we were raised in a Baptist church. All, all Baptist people are not like it, but, but our church we were in was like this. And it was very limited. <laughs> and uh, uh, But anyway, when I moved from there to Word of Faith mm -hmm. and I went into full-time ministry, man, my parents thought you know that I was, I was off track. My dad did because my mother was already going with the Lord already. So but what are you doing? I had a successful business. I was a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. I had two small churches. And yet I'm, I'm moving out to uh to to obey god yes yes for bigger <laughs> and but he couldn't understand because how, how big you know from, from their perspective mm -hmm. how big can you get you got your own business mm. that's successful how big you got two churches how much bigger can you get why do you want it is that greed no he never could you know said that but it was kind of like that same impression like yes. you only do all that because you right. you're, you're leaving your businesses but but god had told me it's time to go to full-time ministry mm -hmm. Now, everybody's not called to go into full-time ministry. Some people are going to be is called to go into full-time business. Yes. That's but right. I understood that God was calling me and Dr. Bell to full-time ministry. ministry. So, so you know what? It took about 10 years, Tanya, about 10 years. <laughs> uh, 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 and, and one day, my father, when he would come visit us sometimes, and so he, 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 he loved to sing. So when he came out having to sing, so before he got ready to sing, he said, you know what? <clears throat> it's been 10 years. By then, he's seen what our faith has produced. He's seen what us building our future with faith yes, could do. Yes. And he made this statement. He said, you know, he said, well, my son first told me what God has said. Mm -hmm. I could not see it. <laughs> he said, but now I see what God has said. Amen. And, you know, and, and that took about 10 years. But guess what happened? He became, our, he came, became me and Dr. Bell's best uh, <laughs> fan, supporter and fan. <laughs> Are you following? I mean, he just, you know, because he's seen what God had done. So sometimes in the natural way at first, you know, your family members may not see what That's God right. has said, you got it. but you hold faith. You hold, you hold your faith hold in what God has said. That's right. You keep on dreaming big. That's right. And, and one day they were saying, my dad said, when I first, my son first told me what God said, mm -hmm. I couldn't see it. Amen. But now I see what God said. Amen. And they'll become your, 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 your best, your best right. uh, uh, fans. Think about this though. There may be some of your relatives mm -hmm. ain't going to never see it. All right. Yeah. There may be some of your friends ain't gonna never see never it. Never see it. But you just you just clock it up to Jesus says when you when you give, he said you're gonna receive in this time a hundredfold right. with persecutions. <laughs> so notice you're gonna get some persecution no matter which thing you go. That's right. But the people that matter the most. Yes, that's good. Wow. The people that matter the most, they will come into understanding of that, and you will see God do some great things in hey. Jesus' name. So we agree yes, with you on that, Tanya, in the name of Jesus. Yes. So praise God. This has been a great blessing, Dr. Bell. Yes, it has. 
Amen. As we get ready to go into 2021, mm -hmm. we're going to be teaching you some things about mapping, mapping your future mm -hmm. with your faith. Mm -hmm. And we're going to talk about how to do that. And but the whole thing right today is begin right now mm -hmm. to map bigger. Yes. Map a bigger future mm -hmm. in your imagination. Amen. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Well, praise God. This has been a great blessing. Praise God. Been with you today. Amen. Again, uh, uh, every day we believe God with you for supernatural things to to yes. manifest in your life, praise God. And we believe that the, this is going to be the best year mm -hmm. you've ever had in your life. Bigger and better and yes. best. Amen. So what we're going to do now is we, every day we believe God for uh, receiving partners. Yes. And uh, uh, again, partners, you, you all are a part. We got partners already. All of you that are partners, you watch us every day, uh, two to three Friday, the same time. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, uh, you know, you, those that would like to sow into the ministry, uh, in partnership. Mm -hmm. He said, Dr. Craig, you know, I, I, I see what you're saying. You're in Dr. Bev. I believe in what God is doing in your life. And I see that we're going to, we're going to, to the world. Amen. We're going to the world. That's what we do. We're going to the world. That's right. And so I want to partner with you in those areas. Mm -hmm. Right there on Facebook, uh, uh, you'll, if you look down there, you'll see uh, some links that I've got on there. Number one is a link that is for your, uh, your, uh, your your internet. I mean, you can click that one link there mm -hmm. on the internet, and it'll take you right to our giving link. Amen. For you that do uh, a cash app, it'll take you right to our cash app, mm -hmm. and you can do that, and it'll, you'll you'll get, you'll get a miniature there also. Or you can just go right to our website mm -hmm. at imministries.org. Any one of those three ways, you can partner with us with your seed. Amen. And we believe God for supernatural blessings on your life. Mm -hmm. And I just want to give you this final scripture there in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 9 and verse number 6. What does that say, Dr. Bell? But this I say, mm -hmm. he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, mm -hmm. and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. See, so, so mm -hmm. how big... How big. It's going to be next year. It's going to be dependent on your seed. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I invite our partners to sow seed. That's right. Because you're sowing seed. Paul said, I'm, I'm asking to sow seed mm -hmm. that fruit may abound to your account. That's right. He says, so here, those which sow sparingly mm -hmm. going to reach sparingly. Mm -hmm. But if you want to get bigger that's right. this year, mm -hmm. he was so bountifully shall reap also bountifully. So, de so determine this year to sow bigger seeds. Mm -hmm. As you're inspired by the Lord to do it. Amen. And watch and see how your harvest will be bigger this year also. Amen. So we're going to get ready to pray for you right now. We're believing God with you as we enter into this, uh, as we enter into this, this final uh, uh, month mm -hmm. of 2020 into the new year of 2021. Praise God. We're believing God for bigger yes. things in your life this year. Amen. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray for every person that is there, God, yes, that our minds would come open to hear yes, Lord. and understand and see in the spirit realm that, Lord, our faith is what makes this thing happen. Thank you. Lord. And God, right now, for those who are partners with us you, and those that desire to be partnered with us, Father, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus Christ, Thank Lord, you, to receive their partnership as they're partnering with us in the ministry you've called us into. Yes, and Lord, every seed that they sow, in partnership with us, let it be multiplied yes. back to them. In the name of Good Jesus. measure, pressed down, shaken together, yes, and running over. In Jesus' in name, Jesus name. Amen. amen and amen. Praise, Praise God. Bell, final words. Amen. Just keep moving forward in faith, and God is going to give you the strength that you need to make it happen. And so remember this. Um, uh, we'll be back on tomorrow morning at the same time. Tomorrow is Saturday. Oh, I'm sorry. No, not tomorrow. We'll be back on Saturday. <laughs> Sunday morning. We'll be back on Sunday morning. Amen. <clears throat> At 7.30 Pacific Standard Time, that's here in, in, in L.A. or here in, uh, in Las Vegas, uh, that'll be 8.30 Arizona time. Mm -hmm. And then wherever you're watching this throughout America and around the world, mm -hmm. this same time. But, uh, but that's what we'll be on Sunday morning. It's going to be a great message because I'm speaking now for that very purpose to, to equip you for bigger things. In 2021. Amen. So until then, stay focused. Stay focused. Stay in your lane. In your lane. Keep moving forward. Move forward. This has been Apostle Alfred Craig. And Dr. Bev saying. May God's riches and his very best be yours. Bye-bye now. God bless. Have a good weekend.